Hello and welcome to the Private Photo Vault Hidden Features video. This video will highlight some of the lesser known features of Private Photo Vault, including how to import photos from the Messages app directly to Private Photo Vault, how to copy photos from your computer to Private Photo Vault using the iTunes file transfer feature, as well as how to use the built in photo editor to apply photo filters, crop and rotate photos, and more. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is to open a photo directly into Private Photo Vault from the Messages app. So what we do, load up the Messages app, and here I found a message that currently has a photo in it. So begin by tapping on the message, and then hit the button on the top right of the screen. And then hit the Open in Photo Vault button. So here we have it, and it's instantly transferred over into Photo Vault. So let's enter our passcode, and it's immediately placed in the shared album and you can move it to wherever you'd like from there. So here it is. So we can tap on it. See, there it is, full size. So hop on back over to Messages. And now, we don't want anyone else to see this, so hit the Delete button. And it's gone. Go back to Private Photo Vault. And there it is. So now, you may not want it in the shared album. So what you can do, hit the Edit button, tap on it, and click the move button. And now you can move it to any album within Private Photo Vault. So let's put it in, in that secrets album. All right, so another feature that we'll be showing you today is how to use the built-in photo editor to apply uh, photo filters and other effects. So let's choose a photo. Here's a good looking one. So once you, you have the full screen view of it, hit the edit button. And you're brought to a beautiful photo editor and with a wide variety of options you can scroll through and see all of them. So let's just go over a couple of them. Enhance, Effects, and Crop. So Enhance allows you to, it just does automatic uh, features for just kind of night, backlit, balance, and etc. So let's not apply any of those right now, but let's go over to the Crop. And so you can either drag to specify whatever crop setting you want, or you can choose predetermined ones. So let's, let's select the square and get it to the precise region, perfect, and hit apply. And now let's say we want a special effect for it to make it look sort of like it's kind of historic. So let's take a look for a second. That one looks pretty good, but I think this one might look better. So we'll apply that. Oh, great. And hit the apply button. Now we're all done and we want to save this. So hit the done button. And now you're given the option to either save over the original image or save it as a copy. So I'll just hit save as copy right now. And there we have it, the copy image and the original. And it really looks great. So those are two crucial hidden features in Private Photo Vault. And now I'll be showing you how to use the iTunes file transfer feature. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do to begin transferring files from Photo Vault to your computer or vice versa is to plug your phone in to your computer using the USB cable. And next, you're going to want to launch iTunes. Once in iTunes, you're going to see a list of items on the left-hand side of the screen and go down to the Devices section. In the Devices section, you're going to want to select your device. Once you've done that, you'll be presented with this summary screen here showing a bit of information. And up on the top part of the screen, you'll see a tab called Apps. Click on that. And then, you're going to want to scroll down to the file sharing section. In the file sharing section, it'll list any apps that have file sharing enabled. So select Photo Vault, and you'll see any, any of the photos you've placed in the uh, iTunes shared album within Private Photo Vault. So here we go. So right on the right hand side of the screen, you can see the shared album. We go inside, select the first photo, and here it is of the nice sunset. So if we click here, save to, and we save this to our first, uh, we'll just save that to our computer real quick, and then you can see we've just saved a photo from Photo Vault to our computer. Alright, so the next thing you're going to want to be able to do is actually copy a photo to the iTunes album. So, find a photo on your computer. So, I have a few backgrounds here, so I'll just drag one of them over. Um, here we go, this one looks good and you drag it over, and there it is. And it's as easy as that. 
Uh, the file sharing feature is extremely useful and extremely quick, and you can also transfer over videos in this way.